Ladies and gentlemen, gamers of all ages, I proudly bring to you Rage Day! Hey, 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 YouTube, it's finally here. Rage Day. Love it. So, you finally get your hands on the game. The game I've had since Sunday, the game I've been loving since Sunday. I put about oh, 30 or so hours, roughly. I have There is a way to check, but I haven't checked. But anyway, I put a shit ton of hours into this game. So, just to see if we can get a few tips together for you to put you on the right track. Things I wish I would have known when I started playing. And I'm certainly going to know when I do my second run through, which is a guarantee. So, without any further ado, all the bullshit to one side, let's five those tips. Right, Rangerinos, here we go. Your first tip, the real most important tip, because this is probably the biggest thing through this whole game. And yes, I know it's strange that I'm starting with the best. Other YouTubers start with the shitty ones so that you stay to the end. But no, I'm starting with the best because that's just how I roll is all to do with arc finding now when you start the game you, it gives you a couple of arcs on the map maybe two if you're lucky go to them get them straight away once you've done with them go get your shotgun from john marshall's first mission at gun barrel and then you're ready to go find the other arcs because although it gave you two you're on your own from that point now here's how you do it when you're out and about in free roam press your focus button on playstation it's l1 i'm guessing xbox it's less bumper or left bumper should i say why can't i say left on pc it's going to be some silly little button you press but anyway press your focus button and then look up you will see nano streams which are like almost like rainbows that go straight up but not as colorful they're like dulled out rainbows that go straight up. That's a shit way of describing it. But you'll get it when you see it. They just look for straight like straight beams of light that go straight up into the sky. That is the rough location of where the arc is. Make your way to that point. Now it's not always straightforward, but sometimes you have to do it on foot. When you get near it, your ranger will say, Oh, I found an arc. And then all of a sudden it'll pop up on your radar and you can go straight to it. Not all arcs are easy to accomplish it's not just a case of roaming in because you've got to clear out the arc first of all the baddies sometimes the baddies might be level six seven eight if they are just try and find another one especially right at the start of the game unless of course you're on easy setting in that case you're a pansy go straight ahead once you've cleared out the arc and you've got into the arc and you've got your power and or weapon when you come out of the arc beware there are more ads for you to chew through now these ads are usually there for you to test your power with yes you get a little simulation when you're in the arc but that's not the same as the real world you get to go out there and test your power do it it's awesome my next tip or tip numero dos again that's all the spanish i know so i'm not going any further with that is for all the ocd maniacs out there now if you're like a friend of mine where a cluttered map will literally drive you insane. You need to pay very good attention to this. When you take on roadblocks or any base or whatever, it will not cross it off the map or cross it off the job list until you have found all the containers and all the data pads. These containers and data pads are literally hidden in the most obtuse areas you can think of. And you can spend 20, 30, fucking hell in my case an hour searching for them just to cross it off the list that is until of course you work something out and this is something i would have done straight away had i known if you go to your menu and select projects you'll see that there are three different types of projects that you can level up one being kill and destroy one being capture control and one being search and recover now in the search and recover section there are two things that you can level up one being data pad tracking and one being container tracking this will add a radar effect to your compass which acts as a bit like a hotter colder type system you know oh you're hotter no you're colder go back to where you was this is by far the most time saving little tip that i can give you the way you unlock this of course the search and recover section is by going to see dr kavash who is situated on the far left side of the map once you've seen him and you've had a little chat to him you realize how much of a bloody weirdo he is that'll unlock the projects and you can put some points into getting those specific skills 
my next tip and this is another important one is to do with linda I, I, I mean phoenix phoenix not wonder woman phoenix so phoenix is your vehicle and obviously a quite important part of your kit i would upgrade phoenix as quickly as possible to include as much reinforcement as possible yes you can add your missiles or cruise missiles uh, which will help you with the convoys for certain but the um, certainly the reinforced chassis and the nanotech chassis as well as safe mode and things like that are going to be really important when you're out and about on the road especially taking on the more difficult convoys as after it sounds the easiest way to get auto parts of course is by killing convoys so you kill a convoy get some auto parts jobs are good do not purchase them from the stores at like 250 bucks or whatever it is they're a rip off because you only get one whereas if you take out a convoy you can get 15 20 25 auto parts a pop you can also find auto parts out and about by smashing crates and things like that my next tip is all down to progression now there's a couple of things that i would seriously recommend that you level up first obviously there's lots of awesome things you can level up but the main four really needs to be shatter defibrillation dash and constitution when i say level up there's two ways to level up these skills there's obviously your nanotech perks and stuff but there's also leveling up with feltrite it's the feltrite way of leveling up that i'm talking about because these give you passive abilities like taking less damage and things like that which will really help you especially when you're outgunned my last tip my biggest last tip of all is one where you get to actually have a bit of fun <laughs> right so there's something called monster bash tv once you unlock it which is about a couple of hours into the game use it as often as possible because monster bash tv or monster bash we'll just call it monster bash has its own currency which you earn through doing monster bash with that currency you can buy from the monster bash vendor everything you need to keep stocked up ammo health synthesizers all those sort of things and upgrades which seem to be a lot cheaper than buying them from with cash from vendors in the towns personally i love monster bash TV because there's a wide range of diff there's like a horde mode one there's one where it shoots ads at you to try and like like clay pigeon shooting does with ads that have bombs on them it's amazing so at the end of the day monster bash tv is definitely worthwhile however the racing isn't you only get one auto part per win after your first race it's pointless and useless and i'm hoping it's something that they might change in the future so that's it five tips that's tips those five that's five of those tips so that's everything you need to well it's not everything but it's five tips that's going to give you a bloody good start and it's five tips i wish i knew when i started the game but of course getting it on sunday there's no one there to give me tips so there you go i've done it for you i've got your five tips what do you reckon not bad eh hey 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 well if you have enjoyed them and you do think that those five tips are worthwhile do me a favor we and hit that subscribe button or, or at least at very least hit the thumbs up you'd be really helping me out and on that note i've got to say a massive thank you to everybody last couple of videos i've had like nearly 30 subscribers and i nearly fell off my chair and had a heart attack i had to go babe babe, babe have you seen this me, me, even my wife was like jesus christ so seriously thank you to everyone thank you for all your support it's been fantastic if you want to see more rage 2 videos including my first live stream which is tonight you'll be able to see it live on facebook my facebook page the link is in the description below from 8 p.m. tonight we'll be having a laugh i'll be doing monster bash i'll be clearing out all sorts of stuff and if you've got any questions you can come and ask me yourself straight off and i'll come and have a laugh with you it's simple as that so until tonight at 8 p.m that's all for me mr b ta, -ta for now are you ready to die are you ready to die are you ready, oh, 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 are you ready to die are you ready? i can't love that song <laughs>